Hi everyone. Welcome to this project where we deal with the problem of predicting customer churn in the banking industry. Consider this scenario. A fictitious bank XYZ has been observing a lot of customers closing their accounts or probably switching to their competitor banks over the past couple of quarters. As such, this has caused a huge dent in the quarterly revenues. and this will impact its market image as well this has been causing the stocks to plunge market cap is reducing so now the leadership team has come into action it has kind of built a think tank of uh, folks from business product engineering and data science and their target or objective is to arrest this slide so now after thinking uh, it was decided that some interventions will be put wherein uh, wherein uh, the customers who are churning can be reduced but the first thing is to identify such customers because the company doesn't have unlimited resources to put these interventions to everybody so the interventions have to be targeted hence the question to the data science team is can we build a model to predict with reasonable accuracy the customers who are going to churn in the near near future so uh, let's come to the definition of churn here So here we define churn as a customer having closed all their active accounts with the bank. So such a customer is said to have been churned. Now in different organizations, churn can be defined in other ways based on the context and based on whatever is most suitable to them. Uh, in some cases, a customer has not been transacting for say X days or let's say six months or one year, that can also be called as churn. But from our problem context, we define it as a customer who has closed all their active accounts with the bank. So now, uh, before I move further, let me uh, show you how in an organization a data, when it, whenever a data problem comes, how an efficient workflow happens. So uh, ideally, a data science team would be at the center of it, and its objective would be to collaborate with the business or the product folks to define the problem statement, define metrics, different things, take help or collaborate with the engineering team to get the data, and then while monitoring. Uh, the DevOps team is required, so it's it's a combination of all these teams together. So apart from just the general modeling, a data science team member also needs to be good at collaboration with these different teams. So considering the business and product team, so there are six uh, goals there. So first is like defining the business goal. So in our case, this is arresting the slide in revenues or loss of active bank customers. Then identifying data source. Uh, so data source can be transaction systems or even base field stream logs uh, it can be in data warehouses like mysql db redshift or aws or in data lakes but uh, there there might even be no sql in uh, databases so although these uh, parts are important for the business team or for the product manager to take care the data science team should be vigilant and keep on probing and checking whether these all these requirements are fulfilled and in fact uh, give their opinion as well so then auditing for data quality so need duplication of events or transactions uh, complete or partial absence of data in like in some let's say you have data from january for a complete year in between you see that from october 15 to 20 the data is missing so that is something which will cause aberration so highlighting these anomalies and checking and ensuring that proper ingestion has happened is although a responsibility for the manager it's kind of a combined a uh, responsibility for the success of the project obscuring personally identifiable information is another very important part uh, because in most of uh, most of the data science problems you would require some custom features uh, yeah. but if they are not obscured it would lead can lead to privacy issues then comes a very important part defining the metrics so the metrics are of two types can be business or data related obviously on the data related parts uh, the data science team has to give their opinion in fact they have to define which would be the relevant metrics even on the business metrics part it is important that a combined uh, opinion of both teams are taken to uh, decide these metrics for our problem statement uh, an example of such business metrics can be churn rate which can be tracked on a monthly or a weekly quarterly level trend of average number of products of customer percentage of dormant customers other such descriptive metrics so these are some metrics which can be tracked over time and if this for example if churn rate decreases or if the number of active customers increase so these are 
some of the positive trends and this is what we are aiming for the first of the thing is obviously to track these metrics in terms of data related metrics uh, there's f1 score recall precision so recall is uh, basically true positive by true positive plus false negative i'll come to the interpretation of recall and precision a little bit later but in general these are data uh, metrics which are in our case uh, these are more important than the accuracy the general accuracy metric again prediction model output format since this is not going to be a model which is deployed live uh, this the case in our case it's uh, more feasible to have it as a periodic as a monthly or quarterly run of the model to decide to find which customers are likely to churn it's important to uh, decide right at the beginning what should be the output format which will be given to the which will be given by the data science team to the sales or marketing team so that they can take the relevant uh, interventions and we also need to decide right now what are the actions which uh, needs to be taken for example uh, some customer centric pack if we can identify a target group which is prone to getting churn which uh, so we uh, identify such customer segments or such customers the customer care center can get in touch with them if they have any grievances those can be addressed or certain uh, bank offers can be made to them so at that level once you identify those customers some amount of basic eda can be used to uh, highlight the different different groups and also the appropriate intervention for them apart from this uh, we also need to collaborate with engineering and devops so now in our case, since we are not uh, going to have a live model, uh, the engineering and DevOps team might not be required here. But in general, for any data science project, and if you, especially if you have a live deployment, uh, the DevOps team is required. Engineering would still be required because you need the they have uh, there's a two-way traffic here, so they need to ingest the data into certain tables or certain kinds of data lakes or data warehouses from the event-based logs. So that is the responsibility of the engineering team. Obviously, the data science team should put in their inputs here, uh, so as to ensure that they get the data in the required format, and hence uh, the entire pipeline can be built properly. The DevOps team generally monitors the scale aspects once the model goes live, and if there are any anomalies or aberrations, they can track and they can notify the uh, engineering and data science teams so that the requisite action can take place.